I know it took a lot of hard work along the way. Um, so take me back to your rookie year. You know, what was your what was your your welcome to the NFL moment? Uh, you know that like, dang, all right, I'm in the league. I gotta. <laughs> I'm, I'm welcome to the. My welcome to the league moment, it wasn't a moment. It was a whole game. <laughs> <laughs> a whole it game? A, it was a whole game, man. Fucking. The longest game of your life? What? Oh, my God. Yeah. D-Ware took me to the woodshed, man. That was my first <laughs> first game ever lining up. And, you know, I was, I was, I hadn't, I came from Oklahoma. I had never really studied an opponent. Like, I never mm-hmm. really watch film, never took notes. Like, you just go out there and blog. I, I kind of equated it to basketball, being able to hand check somebody. So I'm like, I just kind of, you know, I didn't use technique. I just played like an athlete. So I figured they got me to the NFL. That's what I'm going to do on the next level. Yeah. You know, I was hearing all the talk about D-Ware and, you know, some of the old linemen just was in the locker room just talking about, like, man, and when you look at him, look like his his uniform is painted on. Mm-hmm. Then you hear one dude like, man, he could tie his shoes standing up. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking like, damn, this dude really like this? Yeah. You know, but I got all this pride. I'm like, man, forget it. I'm going to go out there and just play like I play. And Coach Mike Shanahan, the godfather, he called me in. I want to say it may have been a Thursday of that week. He was like, hey, man, you're not. You're not getting the chip. We're not sliding. We're not helping you. I mean, you're making ten million a year. You're gonna have to prove it. You ain't gonna be here long if you don't. So I'm like, what? What? That kind of, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That that had my heart. That kind of, I lost some sleep. Nah, I nah. lost some sleep. <laughs> now <laughs> when coaches see that's what I don't like when coaches start gassing up players to you. I'll be like, bro, like, yeah. All right, who sides you on, bro? Yeah, like, <laughs> nah, nah. He he knew. I think he knew. That I I wasn't I wasn't taking it as serious as it really yeah. was. Maybe I don't know, but he damn sure made me lose some sleep. And then, so I, <laughs> you know, but I still got all this heart. I'm like, man, I'm man, I'm a gorilla, man. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm gonna heart go cuz you got heart. Yeah, I got heart, man. You got, you got <laughs> heart, man. Ain't, ain't better punk me, man. Yeah, you got, got heart, cuz. <laughs> yeah. Nah, we ain't gonna whoop him. <laughs> so <laughs> shit, I went out there. I'm like, man, you go out there. I ain't gonna lie. I'm looking at him. You know, we we call him to play. I'm down there miss a call. I'm looking like, damn, this nigga arm long as hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's finna get real. So then, you know, first couple plays, he just use the speed, use the speed. So I'm like, all right, speed, that's nothing. I can deal with that. Set I don't up. think nobody can really run around me. So third and eight, you one of them pivotal points in the game. You know what I'm saying? All right, here comes speed. Man, I opened up thinking I'm finna run this dude by. The next thing I know, I'm literally looking at the sideline as I'm falling. <laughs> and, and next thing I know, I look back, he blowing the quarterback back out. I'm, thinking, <laughs> I'm like, damn, that shit happened so quick. And I was, so now I'm kind of like, damn, that ain't never really happened to me. Like, cause then. In college, like I like I had a clean sheet for the most mm-hmm. part. Like, I ain't saying I ain't get beat, but it just, you know what I'm saying? Not like this. Like yeah. now when I'm really on like, I'm I'm thinking I'm on my shit right now. So mm-hmm. all right. I'm like, all right. He get back to the speed rush. Cool, but I'm really a little ass here. Come another third, third manageable. I mean third and long pass situation. Fucking, I'm waiting. I'm thinking I'm he gonna spin, he blow right by me. Bow, blow the quarterback up again. So now I feel like shit. Like I feel like the scum of the earth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I don't even remember the outcome of that game, but I remember like feeling like damn. I yeah, feel like that feeling. Like damn, I, I ain't know it's gonna be this hard. Like mm-hmm. this shit is really, really, really tough. So yeah. that was like my welcome to the league moment. And then I had. Mario Williams, I think, was next. And it was Clay Matthews, and it was fucking Dwight Freeney. And then by the time Dwight came, I was just like, you know what? I'm fucked up and start studying. Because he <laughs> made people look so stupid with that spin move. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's just, it's a Sunday night game. Like, it's another primetime game. Mm-hmm. Like, I cannot be out here looking stupid. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, so I studied him. I was like, I, if I can find a way 
to subdue the spin move, then I think my night will be a little easier. Yeah. So I studied them. First time I studied somebody, and I just just looked at him, and I see, all right, every time he spins, he throw the inside hand, like basically to build momentum. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling myself the whole week, as soon as I see that, as soon as I see the hand, I'm gonna just jump to the inside. And if he fake spin, I'm gonna look stupid as fuck. But I hadn't seen a fake spin he yet. He showed that though. So the whole week, and I'm feeling really confident about it. I got my notes, I'm confident. And I go up right at the national anthem. I'm looking across the field. You know how you see dudes. Yeah. So I'm looking over there and I see him and Mathis and they just. It looked like, I don't even know if they were paying me no attention, but it looked like they were staring dead at me. I'm like, damn, they don't watch that DeMarcus Ware film. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, they niggas trying to cook me. So I, went, I started getting a little nervous, and I went up to Coach first. I said, hey, Coach, you know, I said, hey, man, you got any last tips for me? You got man? any last said, tips? Man, he looked at me dead and I he said, man, I ain't, got, I ain't got nothing to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, honestly. You can't do it. Ain't nobody over here gonna do it. So, <laughs> your we ain't got nobody be, else. You the best, best we gonna got. Be our best. You like just go do your best. I'm like fuck. So that took away all the confidence I was building up throughout the week. Mm -hmm. But then the first time I seen it, boom! I jumped to the inside, stopped the spin, and he looked at me like me and Rush, like, oh shit, okay. Yeah, you, you were know studying. What I say? He was like good shit, young fella. Like you know. So I'm like, hell yeah. So I'm getting confidence, gaining confidence. And then, I mean, he bored the shit out of me because I'm waiting on the spin. <laughs> he, ain't get to the, he ain't get to the quarterback. It wasn't no sack, but he put me on skates. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then that's when I realized, like, okay, I got to still be ready for this, but I got to be able to, to, to counteract it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, just going along those lists of, like, dominant Hall of Fame pass rushers, like, it... It sculpted me as a young as a young player to know like I it's it's mental. It's it's not all about physical traits. It's all about, you know, about like mental like it's like chess. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They playing chess and we come in coming from college playing checkers a lot of times. I wanna send a huge shout out to Verizon, our new presenting sponsor. Third and long is now powered by Verizon.